Hi friends, my name is Maud Aftab from Easy Approach and in this video uh, I'm going to show you how can you make a program of finding the even numbers, uh, finding if the given number is even or odd uh, without using the modulo operator. Uh, so this program is pretty forward and very easy. However, the restriction that I just stated that you could not use uh, mm, the modulo operator makes uh, this problem a little trickier. Uh, actually, this problem had been uh, asked, uh, that problem had been asked in my interview, and uh, while solving that problem, I thought that I should make video uh, on this uh, on this uh, program uh, so that the other people would take advantage and it will be helpful th for them. So before starting coding, I just want to discuss uh, about the algorithm of this program uh, because I'm, I'm a guy who likes to first develop a, an algorithm. Uh, and then I, I prefer to co code uh, because it, it will be much easier uh, for us to code when we have the algorithm of the program. So the restriction uh, was that, that you could not use a modular operator. Uh, however, I want to discuss about modular operator because uh, uh, we, so, we, so that we can uh, uh, find the alternative ways uh, when we know about uh, what modular is really is. Modu modular operator is actually uh, an operator which returns the remainder uh, after dividing some number by some number. Let's say if we have 4 and you have to divide 4 by 2. So it means that you have to, uh, you have to divide 4 by 2 and, the, and what the remainder will be is actually uh, the modulo operator's purpose to bring. I mean uh, you would divide 4 by 2 and whatever the remainder would be uh, it will be written. Uh, it would be returned uh, uh, oh, to the modulo operator, uh, or you can find uh, the remainder of by using modulo operator. So uh, when we uh, when we make this program, uh, I mean, if, if there was there was no restriction, you could do this program in the same way that you divide the given number by two, and you just find the remainder and whatever the remainder is. If the remainder is zero. It means the number is completely divisible, divisible by two, and thus the number is thus the number is even. And if the number is not divisible by two, or the remainder uh, after dividing the number by two is one, uh, then the number would be odd. So this is the basic way that you uh, that you have been doing uh, uh, this program. However, you you could not use modulo operator anymore. So. Now let's talk about what division actually is, uh, because you can uh, uh, the division actually is the subtraction. Uh, and let's say if you have to divide four by two, what does it actually means? It means you have to divide uh, four in twos, and how many times you can divide four in twos is actually the quotient of the division, and how many left is the remainder. Now let's take an example. Let's say we have c and uh, six, and we have to divide six by two. So it means you have to divide six in twos. And how many times you can divide six in twos is actually the quotient. So you have divided six in twos three times. I mean, three times two makes six. So it means the quotient will be three. And as you can see that. Uh, the whole six is divided and nothing left, so that is why the remainder would be zero. Okay, um, so now let, let's take another example. Let's say we have seven, and we have to divide seven by two. You know that division, uh, that uh, dividing seven by two uh, would give you the quotient of three, and the remainder uh, will be one because uh, one would be left and. Uh, it cannot be divided anymore. So now let's uh, doing it by subtraction method uh, or yeah, subtraction method. So seven can be uh, divided div divided can be div can be divisible by two in four times. I mean, you can divide seven uh, in twos, writing twos in four times. So it's two plus two is four. Four plus two. Six, oh sorry, <laughs> you can div uh, you uh, seven can only be divided in twos three times, and uh, the rem and after three times there is only one left, and you cannot divide one in twos because it is smaller than two. So that is why the quotient will be uh, three, 
as we get earlier uh, when we divide 6 by 2 and the remainder will be 0 sorry the remainder will be 1 I'm messing I'm messing up so you can see that uh, we don't use uh, we didn't use actually the modulo operator in both of the cases uh, we just subtracted 2 from the given number and uh, when we reach 0 I mean when nothing uh, remain from a number uh, we s uh, and we reach to the zero we say that complete the num that the number is completely divided and if uh, we cannot reach zero and we just pass the zero I mean there is a remainder of one left and if we further divided this uh, by two we would have remainder minus one I mean you have passed zero and you haven't reached zero so this is the state this is actually the condition uh, where you can find if the number is even or not I mean uh, you what you will do you will subtract uh, 2 from the number you have given and the after consecutive uh, subtraction what you would check you will check that uh, what the remainder is actually I mean you would divide 6 by 2 and you'll check how much is uh, left uh, you have left four, and you would divide again, and you check how uh, you would check how much uh, you have left. Uh, then you would have two, and after divide after subtracting two, you would have zero. And when you get zero, it means that nothing is left, and the com number is completely divided. So that you so then you can say that it is even number. However, in case of odd number, like say we have seven. If you you will divide two, then you would have five. You would divide two again. I mean, you have to, uh, you you would subtract. Then you would have three. You would subtract two more. You would have one. And now you cannot subtract one from two. Sorry, two from one. But you would do, uh, and then you would have the number minus one. So now you have passed the zero mark without getting zero. Actually, it means that the number is not completely divided. So, one, what we will do in, uh, in short, we will subtract 2 consecutively from a number we have given and we will check if we have, if we have gotten 0 or not. If we have gotten 0, we would say that the number is even and if we pass 0 and we get minus 1, then the number is definitely odd. Hope you, will, uh, hope you have understand it and now let's uh, come to implementation point of view. Uh, I mean, I have to. Uh, we have to implement this program. I'm using C sharp uh, to implement this program. You can use any language. The purpose of this uh, uh, video is not to uh, 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 not to teach you about any specific uh, language, but to um, make the algorithm and implement this uh, program. Now, firstly, what I'm doing, um, uh, I'm showing a message so that user can give uh, input uh, give any number now uh, storing the number I hope you have a little idea of C sharp What this line do? Uh, this would uh, take input from the screen and uh, store it as an integer in the X. Oh, I'm changing this X to number. Uh, now I'm. Uh, I had to perform some uh, subtraction uh, operation, and I don't want uh, this number to be uh, overwritten. Uh, so that's why I am actually uh, copying this number in in some other variable so that. I could print uh, the number as it is uh, after the calculation and I would perform operations in A and the original number is stored in number. Now what we have to do, we have to subtract 2 consecutively from A because we have stored the number in A as well and we would check if uh, we got 0 or not. So uh, I'm using while loops to do consecutive subtraction and what would be the condition 
the condition would be whenever uh, or you could say while a is greater than equals to zero whenever a will be greater or equals to zero the subtraction operation uh, will be uh, will be done now in while loop I will check if a equals to zero because if a zero then you can straightforwardly say that number is uh, even number um, okay so I am writing here console dot right line I'm, this is actually the placeholder or format specifier. I am actually saying that uh, the given number is even. Because whenever we read zero, uh, the number would be even. And uh, we have to uh, we have to put break here as well because we don't want uh, for loop to go for forward further. And in else, not else, if we encounter a equals to minus one, in case of odd number, we would print uh, the number is odd. You could not use else here because uh, uh, if <laughs> whenever you get any other number uh, uh, apart from zero, it would print uh, odd, odd, odd and you just have to print odd when you encounter minus one because that's a condition uh, where you are pretty sure that the number is not even anymore and now I am writing at last console.readline this is not the last line is not actually the part of program because it usually it is used to stop the screen the console screen console.readline Uh, now let's check the program. Oh, sorry, I did a mistake. I have to define here uh, number because this uh, this placeholder uh, will show the value of this number. So you could not miss this. Okay, now let's run this program. Uh, it's asking give any number. I am uh, giving four, and I know four is even. Oh, it does not show any number. What's happened? Whenever a is greater than or equals to zero. Oh, I haven't subtracted this number by two, and it leads to an infinite loop. A is equals to a minus two. Now let's run this program. And I give four, and it's showing that four is even. Now let's uh, take another example. Let's say we have seven, and uh, whoa, what's happened? This equals to minus one. Let's run again. Else, if a x equals to minus one, uh, you could do this in better way. I I I want because this break statement is not uh, a good thing to do in this uh, program. I'm I'm using a flag here. I'm using bool uh, is even, and it is initially I would take it false, and I know that it uh, that even number is only um, I mean we would be pretty sure of the number is even when we encounter zero so in this condition I just write is even equals to true and now I would at last check if is even is equals to true then the number
would be is then the number would be even sorry and in else you get right you can write that the number is odd so we have changed the program a little because uh, I I was feeling that it would have some problem I don't want to debug the pr because the, pr the the video land would be more however this program is uh, the same but we have introduced here uh, and uh, a flag a variable initially we say that the number is false that the number is uh, odd actually because is even is false means that the number is odd and when we we ch check that after subtraction if we encounter zero it means then then is even should be true because the number is even and at last if the number is the if is even bool variable is true then the number will be even else it will be odd now let's check it giving it seven it is showing that the number is odd again i missed that thing oh gosh So, after all, the program is completed. Uh, sorry for the sorry for the the abrupt changing. Actually, uh, so this is uh, this is it. Uh, you have created the program of finding even number without using modulo operator. What we have done, we just uh, did. Uh, we uh, just done. Uh, by using by doing consecutive subtraction and after consecutive subtraction we just uh, wanted to find out if we have got uh, a zero or not if we have got zero we can say that the number is even or if we have not uh, got zero and we have passed the this uh, range actually if we have gone through all the numbers from zero to that number and we uh, we didn't get zero so we could say that the number is not even so that's it from uh, this video uh, if you like this video, hit subscribe button and don't click to uh, uh, don't forget to click on the red icon. Thank you.